Good morning, guys. Today is day two on the Body Reset Diet. And I want to tell you, yesterday was amazing. I feel so good this morning. I have so much energy and I slept deep. I had dreams and woke up refreshed and feeling really good. And I, you know me, I had to get on that scale and just peak because the carbs that I had yesterday were so high compared to where I'm normally at. And guys, big drop. What? Okay. So I made my apple pie shake this morning. I have a huge bag of all my snacks and another shake. So we're going to work today with pure joy and excitement and loving the fruit. Oh, so good. All right. So I'll see you when we get to work. So here is my little bag of carrots. And in this container, I have two servings of hummus, one for when I eat the carrots and one for later when I have my cucumbers. Put them in a little container like this and brought them to work, keeping them in the fridge. But uh, it's snack time, so I'm gonna go enjoy this, finish up some work, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. It's smoothie time. This is one scoop of protein powder, one cup of raspberries, quarter cup of blueberries, half an orange, and a tablespoon of ground flaxseed. It's absolutely delicious. This is such a good one, and especially for middle of the day. It's like having a sweet treat. All right, guys, this is my day. I love it. All right, so let's chat. The day two is going even better than day one. I feel calm. I feel energized. I feel satisfied. I don't have that headache that I started to get yesterday, although I did have a cup of black coffee this morning. Just preemptively saying to myself, I better have this so I don't get the headache at work. I feel really good. And again, urinating a lot. Running to the bathroom. Um, I guess I'm de-bloating because I feel it. And yeah, I just, I love this. I love this. So a um, couple people already asking questions about, you know, being concerned with the carb count being as high as it is. Um, but what I'm told is Mother Nature does not make things that would, like in other words, a, a strawberry or a blueberry or an apple for that matter. We shouldn't be afraid of that. For years, I've been afraid of fruit. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm just conditioned to feel that way or, you know, like I don't know where that comes from. I mean, obviously I know where it comes from, but I don't know where it comes from. How can somebody be afraid of a piece of fruit? Like literally afraid. Jumping into this, I was very skeptical, but now I see that I can feed my body with healthy food and not be afraid of it and not have anything horrible happen. It's all learning curve. tell by my outfit has been changed. I am at work covering for someone today as well as doing my own job. So it's going to be a little bit hectic. But regardless, uh, I didn't record last night. I apologize for that. My son Kevin and his girlfriend are away for the next week and we are watching their little corgi. So uh, it was just, it was a lot when I got home last night. So I apologize for that. But anyway, yesterday, day two went seamless, didn't have any hunger other than when it was time for me to have those smoothies and my snacks and I did great. And again, I slept really well and I woke up feeling amazing. So I do want to talk about this book today. I do have the cookbook. I brought both of them. So on my lunch break today, I will make another clip for this video discussing the books. How exciting. See you then. Hey guys. Okay. So it's lunchtime and I and marking this up like crazy with highlighters. <laughs> look at this, wait, look at. I, first of all, I love to read. Okay, so anything educational is always amazing to me. And this book on Amazon is worth its weight in gold. I can't believe that I'm actually learning things that I thought I knew 
was right, but aren't. And Harley, so he is, he's got his master's in nutrition uh, as a nutritionist, dietitian. He's studied as a master food and how it works in the body and how getting through menopause or just if you're stuck on a diet and you have neglected yourself for years by cutting things out and learning that certain things are not appropriate for you, such as fruit, like I have, it really puts things into a scientific, um, what do I want to say? A scientific fact. He goes on to talk about how the world is so full of diets, right? There's protein bars and shakes and diet programs and all these other things when we have become so far off the beaten path when it comes to whole foods, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds. He talks about having a combination to keep yourself healthy. And I will be referring to the menopause, perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause age group because that's where I'm at. I'm 53 and I'm almost, almost through menopause. <laughs> Seems like I get to like nine months or so and then a period happens. So I'm almost there. I've been to my OBGYN. We've done, sorry, we've done hormone panels. We've done blood work. We've done tests and things um, to see what's going on. So let me pull back a little and tell you that my latest lab work showed the cortisol level was very high. Other than that, I wasn't bad. So I am not a pre-diabetic, but I do have inflammation. Now we have just recently purchased a house and moved and we were carrying furniture and all those fun things. And I started noticing some back pain, a little bit of hip pain, joint pain. Um, I was an original Delta virus, coronavirus, the original one where everybody was dying. Uh, I did have that strain and a lot of long haulers, people that have had that specific strain, you know, a year or two later are complaining of those things as well. So I wasn't sure if that was somehow related. But when, again, when we sit down and I evaluated what I was eating in a day, was it wasn't that it was horrible for me, it was just that it wasn't ideal, uh, especially at this stage in life. For me, I can't speak for any of you. So she begged me to try this and I'm so glad she did because she said that this book, this one, has helped so many of her post peri whatever menopausal women in her practice over and over again she believes in it and she says really good things happen number one you're getting in a lot of healthy protein vegetables fruit healthy fat and the combination of all of those things is what helps set metabolism metabolism is how much your body burns as way of calories at rest that's your metabolism so if you don't have a lot of muscle mass you're not going to have a really fast and sharp metabolism as we age unless you're one of the lucky ones because muscle when you have muscle you burn more calories at rest for me, I have quite a bit of muscle. I lost quite a bit of muscle, but I still have some. So you would think my metabolism would be really good. But historically, with all my dieting and the eating programs and cutting my calories so low, which I see now wasn't so great, um, I need a reset. I need my palate to understand that fruit and veggies are not the enemy. I need my palate and my brain to realize that fruit and veggies are not my enemy. I need to know that yogurt is not an enemy. I need to know that eating an apple with the skin on it is not my enemy. I was afraid of things, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries. I was afraid to eat them. Still am a little like eh, but now I'm learning that it's not horrible. It's actually good. One of the things that I have noticed in the past couple of days since being on this program to reset myself is the energy. I 
It's not the kind of energy you get on keto. It's more of like a calming energy. I feel, I feel so good in a different way. Like with keto, I would have energy like I could run around the block. I could clean my house. This is more of an energy of like a calming energy. Like I feel, I feel whole. I don't know. It could be placebo, right? That's what we all say because I'm excited about it. Who knows? But anyway, I have today and two more days of the smoothies. Then I go on to phase two. Now this particular body reset has three phases. They're each five days long. First five days is strictly smoothies and two snacks. And the smoothies are not prepackaged. It's literally whole fruit, yogurts, dairy products, seeds, chia, flax, um, just all whole grains, good things. So when you're watching this video, don't think it's more prepackaged stuff. This is me going to the grocery store, down the produce aisle, and purchasing my things. Then the next five days after this will be two shakes. Oh, and let me go back. There's also two snacks. So it's three smoothies and two snacks the first five days. Second five days is two smoothies, two snacks, and one nice protein, healthy fat, and a good carb. Could be vegetable, could be, we'll talk more. The last five days is two healthy meals, two healthy snacks, and one smoothie. And then you can just continue to live that way. But if you don't want to make smoothies, you can pick up an apple as long as you pair it with something else. And he talks about why we do that. He talks about whole nutrition, not eliminating carbs. You should have some carbs, carbs, protein, fat. Omega threes, very important. So that being said, I just had my second smoothie for the day and drinking, what is this? This is the big thing of Poland Springs water. And I'm gonna finish my book. I have about another 10 minutes on my lunch break. So I'm gonna say goodbye for right now. Go read a little bit more, get back to work, and I'll see you a little bit later on. Bye. Out for the afternoon walk again. God, it's glorious here. Look at the sky. What a beautiful day to get in the steps. Yes. And I'm fortunate to work in this beautiful area here. So I like to walk after I have my little smoothie and enjoy a little bit of sunshine before I have to get back inside again. I wish I could have a desk outside. Okay, just wanted to say hi while I'm walking. Getting in those steps, 10,000 to 12,000 every day. That's the goal. Hey guys, I'm home from work and right now it's almost seven o'clock and I'm having the green smoothie, delicious, packed with antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and look at the size of it. <laughs> Hence the green shirt. I figured I would try to match. Anyway, all right, this will end my day three and I will continue to update you and at the end of my fifth day, which would be the sixth day that morning, I will do a weigh-in and we'll talk about how phase one on the body reset diet went. I'll see you all in the next day or two. Bye guys.